Fullchip is lithography engineering software for research, development, and production. Applications include lithography simulation, resolution enhancement techniques like OPC and SRAF placement, and other operations such as multi-patterning decomposition, retargeting, and dummy fill. As the name full chip implies, the algorithms are fast and can be applied to the full layout. Features include a powerful pattern matcher, a layout server multi-client architecture, modeling features, mask 3D, compact resist model, and other features such as distributed computing, a hyperlith interface, and multi-platform support. Before going into a bit more detail about the applications and features, I'll show you a brief demonstration of full chip in action. Here's the full chip client GUI. We're looking at an iMac N10 metal layer as an example. We'll be focusing on a small area, about 40 microns by 40 microns. This node has 24 nanometer line widths and 24 nanometer spaces. So triple patterning is employed. We've used full chip to do a three color pattern decomposition. Here's the result of this decomposition. It colors the polygons red, green, or blue. The algorithm is able to split polygons if necessary in order to achieve a correct valid coloring. After three color decomposition, we're going to focus just on the blue layer here. Next, we're going to apply a selective bias retargeting operation. The pattern matcher was used to identify the line ends. So here you can see that we've biased everything except for 24 nanometer line ends. This was a somewhat arbitrary uh, retargeting operation designed just to show you that it's that something more complicated than just a bias can be done using the pattern matcher. Next, model based SRAF placement was done, resulting in these SRAFs. Then OPC was performed. The OPC resulted in this green colored polygon, which is the corrected polygons. A PV band analysis was performed. You can see the PV bands here. See in this region, it's a little bit thicker. Finally, a hotspot detection operation was performed. You'll note that it flagged a few hotspots, places where the simulated contours deviated from the target. To give you an idea of how fast the aerial imaging is. I've launched the simulation on this region using two computers. Each computer has 20 cores, so that's 40 cores, to 40 cores in total. You can see the individual tiles being processed as the uh, simulation completes the polygons get back, sent back into the layout. 
and we can view them as they come in. Okay, back to the presentation. We'll go into a little bit more detail about the applications and features. So lithography simulation is a very important part, very important application, the ability to calculate aerial image, resist and etch contours, and then do verification and hotspot detection, see where it's failing. Do process window analysis and PV band analysis to see how much process window you have. Resolution enhancement techniques like SRAF placement, both rules and model-based SRAF placement is supported, and OPC. Other operations such as multi-patterning decomposition, two and three color with the option to break polygons. Retargeting, dummy fill, boolean, and much more are supported. One very important feature of full chip is our pattern matcher. It allows the user to define target patterns as a matrix of integers and then go and find all occurrences possibly rotated or flipped find all occurrences of the ta target pattern once an occurrence is found markers can be programmatically inserted onto another layer this pattern matching functionality is tremendously useful in applications such as rules-based sraf placement retargeting and multi-pattern decomposition. We'll have several more videos and demonstrations on the pattern matcher. A second important feature of FullChip is the layout server multi-client architecture. A server machine running the layout server program can store layouts while multiple client machines can connect simultaneously to the server and have access to the layouts. This allows the client machines to be thin or lightweight, like a laptop, and not have to store entire layouts locally. This also allows users the luxury of operating the GUI locally rather than accessing the GUI through a clunky remote desktop session. Another feature is the distributed computing architecture. Aerial image simulation, OPC, SRAF placement, and all other operations can be run on the client machine, or they can be run on remote machines in a compute farm. In this case, the client tells the compute machines what operation to execute on what regions. The compute machines contact the layout server to get polygons that need to be processed and then send the poly processed polygons back to the layout server. Of course, you don't have to have all these machines to run full chip. You can do everything just on a laptop. You can run the layout server, do the computations and have the client viewer GUI all on a laptop. So we support tiny deployment or an enterprise deployment. Here's a closer look at the GUI that you saw in the demonstration. The ops, the operations, are defined up in the top left here. They're organized in a tree so you can um, group together operations that make sense to be run together. Down here we have regions of interest. You can either enter these manually or you can load them from various file formats. Over on the right we have the layers GUI and in the middle we have the layout viewer. Full chip is available now. Contact, contact us for more information, support at panoramictech.com or our website, panoramictech.com.
Thank you.